be for the good. Listen, they talk about unity by forgiving the people who are there. I tell you what we bring unity in Uganda. And when unity in Uganda lie, when our leaders start to go to the traffic line, they see the women that are holding babies on their back. When they start seeing our students die in the back way, when they start seeing our women, our ladies dying with babies in the hospital without access to blood, without access to medical care. When we start accessing clean drinking water, every one of us as a Gambian, when we start accessing you know, clean medical supplies in the country, when we have our own food supplies, when our leaders start seeing those brothers as their brothers and their sisters and their children, when they start seeing those people, that's when we will unite as a country. Not unity in time for people who are people who are people who are That's not what we will be, ladies and gentlemen. So in this time, we ask ourselves very serious questions, and they tell you this is politics as usual. Who told you this is politics as usual? Who told you this is politics as usual? And I, I don't know what has to be one that if there is any protest in the country during this election, if there is any protest in the country, he has to be held responsible. The international community has to hold him responsible because he decided to bring back people that have no butchered our people, that have massacred our people, that have raped our sisters. He decided to reconcile with those people. That is not what we have to do back there. The DRRC has been desecrated. The CRC has been desecrated. And if there is violence in the country, Adam Abaro must be held responsible for that much more to play. That is what I want to tell you guys in Gambia. Listen, UDP, help them, love them. They out organize you. They out dance you. They out money for you. And they out for the people. You know, that is where patriotism is all about. Patriotism is about standing up for what is right for your country. Standing up for what it, political parties are vehicles that we use to run our government. And this party has demonstrated that they care. Look at all these people, our young people. All standing up for their country. They could have looked the other way around, but they decided not to do it. They decided, you know what? This is the party. These are the future leaders of our country. You hear him talk. You know you have a leader in the country that you can count on. A young man that steps up to the platform. Look at him right there. Look at him inside everybody. That is what I want to tell you. Our people keep playing politics with fire. It is very, very sad. You look at all the institutions in the Gambia. We man in the world. Our people man some of the best institutions around the world. And yet, our country remains the most shameful place on earth. <laughs> our country remains the most shameful place on earth. When I go to Gambia, I am just, I just, I cry. My wife is over there. Every day we are arguing, she's like, just stop. I'm like, how can I stop? How can I stop? How can I stop seeing our fellow citizens? How can you go to the traffic light to Westfield and you see all these beggars? And you give you go to bed as a leader. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some serious issues that we need to deal with. And one way to do this is to get politically involved. And I have been denied the right to vote. Most of you have been denied the right to vote. But you know what? We're going to vote by our pocket. Yes. We're going to vote by our platform. And we're going to do everything that we do. So good. I want to thank you all of you, my brother. I want to thank my boss, David. I want to thank all of you. You're the thing keep it up. God bless you. God bless the Gambia. Thank you.